What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hey guys, my name is Billy. Um, welcome to the vlog. Uh, today we have a big radio interview um, and some other work that I need to get done. Whoa, oh, sorry about that. It's just a little time traveling I do sometimes. Anyways, uh, let's get to that interview. Just, oh, I'm back in 1945. Oh no. Shoot, okay. Whew. Okay, that's better. I was worried I would be running a little late. <laughs> so you're obsessed with UFOs, right? Well, actually, Joe, that's why I wanted to come onto your show. A few years ago, I was actually abducted by a group of aliens from Trothamador. Yes, have they explained this to you, or have you seen it physically? The night of my daughter's wedding, I went out into my backyard and a flying saucer full of Tralfamadorians came and took me to Tralfamador. I then spent years in an exhibit on their planet and came back to Earth with no time passing at all. I can't do this anymore. Look, they're a life form from the planet Tralfamador, so far away from Earth that we could never hope to see it from here. They exist in four dimensions and can see time as we would a section on the Rocky Mountains through a window of a car. There is no death, only places in time where people are no longer living. However, they are very much alive in another point in time. Well, I think that went really well. You guys got to see a uh, small portion of the, uh, the episode. The whole thing will be out soon. Um, and I think I did a pretty good job of getting my experiences across and, uh, you know, talking about my whole point of view thing. Now in this video, I wanted to talk more about my experiences with time travel, specifically the first time it happened. Um, now this was actually during the war, uh, back in 1945, and um, this was before Dresden. Uh, I was leaning on a tree in Germany, um, and suddenly I was transported back to um, my first time going swimming. It was at the YMCA when I was a little kid. Um, then, right after that, I was brought to this party long after the war ended, um, where I passed out in the back of my car, and uh, then I just woke up, back up against that tree. It's, uh, it's something that I learned from the Tralfanadorians, actually. It's that there's really no uh, idea of life and death, just different moments where People happen to be alive, people might happen to be dead, but there are times where they're very much alive and other points in time, sort of thing. I've lived through my life actually many times. I've seen my death, uh, I've seen actually before um, my actual birth. I'm rarely in one moment for very long. Uh oh, that must be my daughter. She must have seen the uh, the interview now um, and think I am crazy. I should probably shut off the camera now.